Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm Brandy. And I'm Z. And we are Finding Our Spot. We were challenged by Kevin and Laura from Vegan RV for the 10 RV quarantine question challenge. So we've got them written here below us and we're gonna do our best to kind of go through and answer them. So. First question, how many rolls of toilet paper do you have? I was lucky the other day when I went to Kroger's I found a 12 roll pack of seventh generation, which is our favorite toilet paper. Yeah, it's two ply, not single ply stuff that you have to use extras. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does pretty good in the black thing. Yes. Yeah. Number two, what has been your biggest challenge? Well, for me, the biggest challenge is being that uh, we're close to our parents, um, being going over to see my mom and not being able to give her a hug. Um, you know, talking to her at six feet's just not exactly cutting it since I'm pretty close to my mom, so. Yeah, that's been difficult. We're, we're, we moved to an area to be close to our moms. Um, so yeah, that's kind of been rough. Um, another big challenge that we've had is haircuts. Uh, I've got curly hair, so. I don't have any problem with yeah. haircuts at all. Just cut it, it's gone. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I took off half. Uh, Z decided to take off half my hair, and it's it's actually been a lot cooler, uh, nicer. So thanks, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Well, so, uh, number three. What have you gone without recently? Um, well, mostly it's eating out, fast food or something. You know, restaurant eating out is pretty much the biggest thing. Um, yeah. I'm probably not gonna be going back to eating out um, <laughs> for a long while. Uh, even carry out just because I don't know who's handling my food and so forth. Yeah, we really like to kind of explore and find new restaurants to eat at and try new things and it's just not on the list right now. So number four, what are you most grateful for? Family. Being close to family, knowing that they're healthy. Um, Our closeness just... with you and I. So yes. yeah, being close to Z, it's been really easy to shelter in place with him. So, yeah, and our yeah. small square footage that we have, but you know, it yeah. works. We're, we're so grateful for our pets being healthy and they're a little bit older. We're thankful for our family being healthy and the wellness of our community and hoping that we can all get through this together. Yes. Yeah. So number five, uh, what do you miss the most? Um, for me, it's setting plans, it's touring, it's finding really fun places to visit. Like recently, coming up the East Coast, um, before before all this happened, we did a lot of lighthouses and we wow. were doing the steps and getting really active yes. and that was a lot of fun. Being on the beach, taking the, one of the dogs, um, the littlest dog, Minnie, mm -hmm. um, she, she loves the beach. She, she loves, loves chasing the, the birds. Beach. Yeah. <laughs> She, she did fantastic on the beach, um, and I grew up on the east coast of Florida, so I really miss the beach. Um, our family, or, or my side of the family, we had a trip planned to the happiest place on earth, yeah, and we're hoping to maybe get there in the fall, um, trying to, to redo that. So in, so in October or November, you might even see us down in Florida. I know we have to go back to vote soon. As long as it's going on, we're, we're going to be down there eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see, um, what's the next question? Six, uh, what's your favorite quarantine food? Well, um, pancakes, um, not just regular old buttermilk pancakes, but for us it's been a, more like a keto or a vegetarian or um, they're, they're gluten-free pancakes and they have protein packed, um, not, um, what's the name of them? Birch benders. Uh, birch benders. So yeah, yeah, there's we found them on our big Costco run. Yeah, yeah there's different other you know, other brands like Kodiak cakes, but you know, birch benders they're pretty been pretty good. So yeah, the banana pancakes are my favorite, and I don't think I've eaten this many pancakes my entire life. <laughs> so yeah, we like our pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> Alrighty. So number seven, where are you currently parked or docked? We are in the Cincinnati area. Um, so we are very close to both of our moms, just in case they need us. Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, number eight, how long has it been since you've been at a campground? Well, we're still in a campground. Fortunately for us, mm -hmm. um, we found a campground that was still, well, it was open when we got here and they allowed us to shelter in place um, because we didn't really have anywhere else to go as we're full time. Um, the ownership has been very uh, gracious in letting us stay here um, through the through the stay at home order, orders as um, you know we've pretty much been here since the beginning of all this April yeah mm -hmm. yeah so. so we're we're happy we're sheltering in place there's about a dozen full-time families here so we feel safe uh, we're super thankful because we have 50 amp service we have water and we have sewer Yes. Uh, so we've been very comfortable and social distancing from everybody around. So yeah, we've we've been very very thankful for this spot that was provided for us. Yes. Alrighty, um, we are already down to number nine. How are you exercising and getting workouts? Well, for the most part, this park that we're in is pretty large. Um, it's several. Well, I'd probably say it's a good fifty to hundred acres. I mean, At probably. Least. Yeah. more than that for that matter but um we've kind of been able to walk around um the grounds a little bit and uh, ride a bike but uh, mostly it's been walking the dogs um mm -hmm. yeah probably four or five around. times a day yeah yeah we get out with the dogs a lot Alrighty, so down to number 10 who are we challenging so we've got four different channels for you chris and betsy from as we go rv uh brian and aaron from five five to go um, now that they're starting their full-time life again yep. then we have mike and tara from rambling home <laughs> and finally ben and christina from the mcmillan express choo choo <laughs> so we're looking forward to seeing all four of those videos uh thanks so much to kevin and laura for pushing us to put this video out i know our videos are far and few between but we've got the content so we're going to upload this one hopefully in the next 24 hours with our little bit of signal that we have and maybe I'll get cracking down especially with this quarantine there's there's lots of time on the hand and I should be able to push out another at least one or two videos before we move again so thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe so you can see when we push out those new videos thumbs up yep give us a like give us a comment below like what like we, we would love to hear from everybody we look forward to seeing everybody on the road yes and uh well, see you on the road and and uh, have a good good time. All righty, safe travels, everyone.